boys and girls looking at that big glass cool dome thing in Knoxville I drove by for years and never been this close to but we're not here for that we are here to go into the fanboy exposition here in Knoxville Tennessee all right boys and girls there is Dominic <laughs> Check it out, it's Pippin. We met Mary, now we're gonna meet Pippin, get Kelly's toy sign. It's gonna be awesome. Holy crap, it's Rudy, it's Samwise, it's Sean Aston. Check it out. Oh, that's awesome. Well, let's film something other than celebs for a little bit. Oh, I did see Kevin Nash though. And also Adrian Paul from Highlander. Oh, I might have to go meet Adrian Paul. Simply not can find a back flick. Mm -hmm. I heard does not want to stand up now. There we go. King Shazam, we haven't seen that before. Another cyborg. Got a Wonder Woman. Whatever that is, is heavy. Devastator should have known. Uh, Batman. I think I actually have to see one more I'll look at here. 35 bucks for him. Hmm. Let's see if we can get him out. This is one I've kind of been wanting. Well, it's not in terrible shape. This tape intact it is. Hmm. I may have to take a look at that one. What else we got back there? Another Dr. Fate. John Stewart. Justice Flash, and there's another one. Let's see if I can slide him out. Oh, about the same condition, really. Okay. And Wonder Woman, Cyborg, and Batman Earth Two. Earth One. I'm sorry. I think that's a Devastator one. Sorry, guys. That's not the most thrilling video right now, but. Trying not to knock everything off. Oh, I thought I did. I got panicked. So I think we're definitely going to take a look. Hmm, you got a stick for the hall. That might be a purchase. What else we got down here? Oh, look at that one. The Arkham Batman. John Stewart. I see a shriek back in there. Riddler. Oh, Mr. Freeze, 80 bucks though. Hmm. All right, we got some Star Wars, Thunder Tank. Oh, Monster Mayhem, uh, Punisher figure. That's pretty cool. And we got some Spawn, Sidor too. Alright, let's try to back out of this corner here. Ladies and gentlemen. What we got here, look over there, a Punisher van. The box is open, but I might have to inquire about that. A hundred bucks for a superpowered Batmobile. A turtle blimp. This is not kind of booth here. We got some toy biz, we got some Kenner. Oh, check that out. Captain America's Turbo Coop. The Wolverine's Jeep. The Hulk Rage Cage. Danger in place sets. He's got the Blackbird jet. I have to ask about that Blackbird. That is pretty cool. There's a A1 figure. We saw A1 back there. She was right beside of Mary. And Kelly got that signature. She's currently standing in the um, Samwise Gamgee's line, which is quite long. So. I was going to walk around and film a little bit, so while well, she's waiting to get Sam's autograph. What else we got up there? We got China's Playboy. I if I was going to get my channel a naughty strike. Oh, he's got those toy biz, the giant size X-Men and the X-Men number one sets over there. I'm going to have to ask him about that Punisher van and about the Blackbird. So let's go see what kind of prices we got on this stuff. And I'll move around to some more vendors next. As you can see, there's tons of them out through here, so... We'll go find some stuff to look at. Well, we found some more stuff here. I actually found all kinds of stuff. Hey, well, you can't see right now, but Mama, Vicki Lawrence is right over there. It's awesome. We got some multiverse here. We have made a purchase. What do we got here? 
first flash, I think. Supergirl. Robin. I see some three Joker stuff there. Not a whole lot of multiverse. There's a Joker. There's this one. Poison Ivy. Batgirl. I guess that Batflip figure. That's what I really wanted to try to find was the Justice League Batman. Not seeing it. Let's see if you might have the Keaton in this line. Oh, that's a nice bang. New Catwoman. Santana. General Zod. Hush. And another um, skeleton bang there. That's kind of different. What else we got here? We got a Batman standing over there. And Batman Lego. Arkham City set there. It's kind of nice. Robin and the Joker. What do we got around here? We got a Hellbat, Shriek, Harley Quinn hiding out back there. Uh, some old three and three quarter legends and stuff down in there, looks like. Got some Marvel. What exactly is this? Thor. It's kind of like that whacked out skull they had on Punisher there at the end. I don't see a Punisher figure this time we're overlooking. Some of the Spider Man Origins figures. Ah, a party wagon. Oh, that is stuck out in front of me here. But I just got a text from my bride. She's almost ready to go see Sean Aston. So let's go back and see what she's doing. Oh, look over there. You can see that's Kevin Nash. Big sexy. That's awesome. Also saw Ron Simmons and I was standing right beside of Ricky the Dragon Steamboat but they wouldn't let me film through there. I uh, tried to get Adrian Paul, couldn't get him either, but I had the video, Big Sexy, Kevin Nash. But now, let's go down and find the spouse. Haha, <laughs> we found some more cool stuff to look at. Some Super 7 Ultimates here, Leatherhead, Mauser, Crane, Shredder, Raphael. That's kind of cool, too. I haven't seen those before. Uh, got some Master Birds. Got some Jason Voorhees. Got part six, part five, and the remake. Predator, some of NECAs. All right, let's see if we can find a bat flick. We got Rebirth, Armored Batman, Armored Batman. Well, it's not half bad. Is that Gotham? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that Gotham Nuts. And we got the Flash, Black Adam, King Shazam. I have to say, I want to start collecting a different line. I went to the show last week in Greenville and didn't see a lot of multiverse. And don't see a lot in here either. The prices we got on some of the G.I. Joe is 50 bucks for that. It's not bad. It's $44.97 in store. And we got up here. That's that thing I saw at GameStop. Star Wars, Spider Man 2099. I didn't see that. Iron Man Mayfix up there. That's pretty cool. Ah, here's something I haven't seen yet. Forge, Jubilee, and Storm. Gambit, Psylocke, and Banshee. Got the King in black there. Oh, look down here, X-Force did. That thing's cool, 35 bucks. This used to be my bane when I used to play Nightfall. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> the mini cone photo op will be in less than 15 minutes. That is at 4 p.m. up in the photo op. got the blob down here, as too. As well as the Kevin Nash photo op at this 4 p.m. This on the blob, 60. Those will be followed by the Jason Mewes and William Zapta oh photo ops at 4.15. Scorpion, never saw that one. And Wayne Knight's panel will be in panel room B at 4.15 so as well. Good. Uh, they got that moon out there. I never saw that in the store. Sorry, that announcement was kind of well. Kelly's found something in calling my name. So we're going to go see Once what she again, says. ladies and gentlemen, just a reminder. Like if Star you Wars have a there. QR code Turtles. for an autograph ticket, you need to Once redeem that on the third floor for soldiers. to get a physical card that you can bring to the table. What'd you find of our lady?
Uh, let's go over here and see what the ladies found, and I'll be right back. Okay, let's get a little bit here. Look there, 90 Superman. The mullet. What else we got here? Spectre. Samurai. Another Superman there. That's like Rebirth. Okay, cool. Oh, Sinestro, of course, Batman. That's pretty sweet. Got a Joker there, and actually Sinestro. Captain Boomerang. <laughs> Leo there. <laughs> and here you see some more Lord of the Rings. That's a little set Kelly's got. She's got a sign so far. Big Predator. Much more DC back over in there. Yeah, she got I bumped into the hobbits, I'm sorry. Here, let me get out of here. Let's see Unlimited. Batman Beyond, Dark Sea, pretty cool. Let's see. Some Star Wars, Savage He Man, ah, oh, some Wolverine. I got that little two pack there, Wolverine and Hulk. I got the one of Captain America Wolverine there as well. Predator, Star Wars, all kinds of Lord of the Rings here. Big Bilbo back there is kind of scary. There's Gimli. Do you want to meet Gimli? They got a Gimli right Let's see what we got over in here. Battlestar Galactica. We got some more Marvel. Oh, a Cosmic Ghost Rider. That's pretty cool. Just make sure I actually had it on camera. Wolverines. Oh, they got the Predator Dutch. That's pretty sweet as well. Battlestar Galacticas, some Masters, Robocop. That must be from the movie. Oh, that's cool. It's Commando. I oh, look at the Rocky stuff back in there. Clever Lang, 55 bucks. I say like at a good price, I have no idea. Well, but it's pretty packed. Figure, oh, Rambo. And let's see. There's some more DC over here. Let's see what we got. Titan Joker from that series. I'm not sure what figure series that is. Kind of DC Universe. Sorry. <laughs> I'll buy something, I promise. <laughs> Not Wing Talon. Oh, the black suit Superman. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Killer Croc back in there. All kinds of good stuff here. Down there is a bane. All right, guys, I'm going to dig through this stuff a little bit. And we're probably going to make some purchases here since these people were nice enough to let me film. So I will see you here in a second. All right, let's get a little more footage here. Look here, they got the new Spider Man 3 pack. That's awesome. It's like 35 for Groot. That's not too bad. 25 there for Shocker. They got two of him, I think a Hammerhead. No, I got the blob one. Sam Wilson, Tiger. What G.I. Joe has we got there? Cobra Officer, Roadblock. Got Flint. Not bad prices on those either. Uh, this is where I bought my Batman from, where the guy wanted to get in the video with me. <laughs> and I haven't filmed a whole lot, guys, but really there's not a lot to and not to look at, mostly Funko Pops. Oh, there we go. You need it, so they can buy it. Right? <laughs> good point, that's a good point. Batman, Superman. That is pretty cool, the dragons. All right, let's walk down through here a little more. We got some more G.I. Joe's there in the end, I looked at these. 
So we're going to film the same spot twice. What have we got here in G.I. Joe? Major Blood, Roadblock, Flint. Flint's got me curious. 35 bucks for him. Who is 06? Cobra Commander? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna take a quick look at that little Spider-Man thing there. It's pretty cool, Daily Bugle. And we got some more up there. That's, I've never seen that Spider-Man set there before. But anywho, not seeing anything different. He's got out here a multiverse, so let's head back around and try to find some more stuff to look at. Alrighty, let's take a look here. I may have already filmed this, I don't know. If I did, we're gonna look at it again. Star Wars, Some Nimrod, Psylocke, oh, the Defenders, that's pretty cool. There's Surtur, I only saw that in the stores one time. Oh, the Children of Thanos said that's nice. 200 bucks. Don't know if it's a good press on it or not. Just Captain America. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kerr Smith photo op will be happening in 10 minutes. That will be followed by the Cobra Kai Karate Kid Ultimate Photo Up at 4.35, followed by the Martin Cove and Jesse and Martin Cove Photo Ops at 4.45, as well as the Karate Kid Duo Photo Up at 4.45. Okay, that's over. I can talk again. Uh, Better Ray Bill's pretty cool. We got some Batman and Robin figures here, Batman animated. Mission Masters Batman Robin. Is that Mr. Freeze? Yeah, the Duo Force. Robin is in the back there. That other Mr. Freeze I looked at on um, eBay. Lord of the Rings, Bonner's of Alien. Buy that and get it signed. See. What else we got here in these Arkham figures? Dead shot. Another dead shot. Harley. Here's an unmasked Batman. Batman infected. And then we got masked Batman there. 40 glass of nice Batman. I do like that. Thank you, lady. I looked at those two already. They're the same figure. I don't know what kind of prices he's got on his Mr. Freeze figures. But we're going to work our way over inside this little booth and see what else he's got. So I will be a right a back. Oh, yeah. Got all kinds of all kinds of stuff back in here. Some Star Wars. Oh, that Batman. 50 bucks for that. That's not... I don't know what it was retail, but... I thought the statue would be more than that. 100 bucks up there for the nano gauntlets. Pretty reasonably priced. Oh, look at this. I think that's supposed to be an 89 Batman. That's pretty sweet. 30 bucks. What else we got back in here? Wonder Woman, there's a Joker, got Batfleck, and you got a whole bunch of Star Wars, Osriel, and Batfleck from the new Flash, there's Mr. Freeze, no Platinums, Donna Troy, another Batfleck, not trilogy. Um, what do we got down here? We got Azrael. The Batman armor. Got another Batman figure. Oh, Kingdom Come Superman. That is nice. What's the price on that? 40 bucks. Let's take a look at that. I can get to one here. Uh, 
though. That's pretty nice. Kingdom Come Soup. Let's lay that out here so we can look at it a little better. And we back up for him. Since we made a mess. My wife's over there, the guy in this booth admiring her signed hobbits. That's got to be an 89 Batman. Look at the Batarang. Oh. Let's lay those there. See what... He might do a little bit of... Wheeling and dealing with the man here. What else we got? Batarang, 15 bucks. That's a good price on that too. But I've already got it. That would be... Got some secret wars in there, that's awesome. See these big Marvel figures here. And the multiverse batwing. I'm kinda curious what he might have on that. I'm gonna ask. Got the Dark Sea Destroyer. Let's see what else we got. You gotta see what that Batman is there. Thunder tank. It, it is. More it's like I've seen. I've seen it kind of. It, uh, it felt like it keeps a couple. All right, I want to talk to him about this bat wing. I'm probably going to talk to him. I think this is a myth. Cool. One twelfth. Another Mezco. Eighty nine Batman. Hmm. 125. What I see on eBay, that's a good price for that. But anyways, we're gonna check out here and see what we can work out with this guy. All right, everybody, we are leaving the show. I filmed everything I could for you. Didn't see a whole lot of stuff in the vendor area. You know, I've really got my eye to film, but hey, you got to meet Kevin Nash. Got to see all kinds of cool, famous people. So that's always fun. So I will see you guys probably some other places in this video, and then see you for the wrap up. Okay, we have left the Fanboy Expo, and now we're going to run into Target. We're here in Knoxville, so might as well visit some local establishments while we're down here. Let's go see what they got. Hey, we got some turtle stuff here. Got Colossus of the Swamps. You got the... Which one is this one? Oh, right there. Tall Throat Thug and Short Gangster. Grunt, Jersey, Mighty Hog, and Rhino Man. And then... I haven't seen that one in a while. Let's see. I was going to ask you they got the big turtles down there from the new movie. And then here you see the two packs they got there, about the same ones. So there's Mighty, uh, Mighty Hog and Rhino Man. And then you got some dino wigs there. And let's go see where I lost the spouse at. There's some die cast. We'll check it out in a second. Excuse me. Let's see what we got here in the old action figures first. Farland, some of them was marked down to $9.99. I wonder which ones that was. <laughs> Dark Flash, Connell, The Signal, an Impulse hidden back there. A whole bunch of Project Superman. There's some more Impulse. I guess it's not hidden. Just trying to find a place to put it. They've got the Flash marked down. they got the Batwing marked down. And the big bat wing still thirty nine dollars. Mo Mongol. Oh, we don't see Mongol all that much. He was nineteen dollars, I think, on Big Bad Toy Store. He might still be. I don't know. I was gonna get him. That's where I'd definitely pick him up from. And this thing ten ninety nine. Yep, it's marked down here as well. And Kelly's playing with a lightsaber. <laughs> I think you want one of those lightsabers. Got some Spider-Man there. Got some Power Rangers. Some more McFarlane. The Flash. Got the movie Flash. Yeah, Bat Suit. And there's a the regular. Oh, Luke Thomas. Hang on, buddy. His hanger's messed up. Let's lay him here. And we'll check out behind us. That is those. We got a lot behind us as well. Cyborg, Spider-Man. Kind of the same stuff. Ooh, they, oh, these are still $21.99 here. They were marked down. 
in Bristol. And these aren't clearance yet. I'm kind of surprised. They're off to a 24. The only one I might try to find is a scan. We might try to scan Ant-Man. I picked up Cyclops the other day. I wasn't able to show him to you guys. I forgot to have him for the wrap up, but got him when the spouse and I were in Johnson City. Back to gun stuff. What do we got back here? Got some wrestlers. What do we got here? Rock. Picked up that guy too on clearance. That's just him and then Oh, they got the variant. There's the variant Samu. Ultimate Warriors, more of them. All kinds of warriors. Wow. They like the Bristol Target. They got warriors in here for days, nights, and weekends. Um, got Andro, who we got there? Ground Ripper. And Masterverse He Man, 1099. I wonder which one that was. Beast Man, 649. Shadow Weavers, 1099. Pig Head, I think, was 1099. Last time I saw him. Oh, Man at Arms. He's not marked down, is he? Man at Arms is 1649. Well, oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's tempting right there. I don't have any of those, I'm afraid. I'll start getting in a masterverse i'll go crazy the morian gar was 16.99 here someone had commented they picked up a bunch of those and the dark troopers on clearance comment on the previous video i should have clarified on that uh, here we go we got club obi-wan marion sala there's beast man 649 manny faces is down to 10. Oh, a lady walked by, I thought she had an enormous vanilla ice cream cone, but she had a coffee. I was about to lust after the ice cream cone. Uh, nothing else we're really looking for there. And Kelly's got a Spider-Man mask on. <laughs> Here's some poly bags. Make sure there's not a Batman stuck in here. I don't see one. Well, let's go walk out the back part of the aisle and see if we got any clearance end caps besides what we've already seen here. You know, crap ton of stuff on clearance. That man at arms. That man at arms is tempting. I don't have anything. Here's a Guardian of the Galaxy. A Mantis. Let's walk out here and don't see any more clearance. Well, there are some clearance end caps, but it's not anything toys. And here we go. Take a look at our die cost. Oh, there's a little Jurassic Park set. Uh, let's see what we got. Do, 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 do. I do like that little Batman there. That's cool. It's nice die cast too. A little super cross box. I'm starting to see some of those in some of the stores. Not something we collect, but still cool to see it. Mario Brothers stuff. They got the Batmobiles on clearance too. And we've already picked those two up. Thor. And then I don't see a whole lot going on here in regular Hot Wheels. They got a good stock. There's not anything popping out at me that I want. Or we took a look at that turtles in camp. Let's take a look at this big guy. I think he's cool looking. Oh, somebody's got his. Um, that's scary. His head. Somebody's twisted it around and broke his neck and killed him. I'm not gonna move the other thing out. You guys have seen that. If you haven't seen it by now, check it out. It's cool. Well, no, I'm feeling bad if you haven't seen it. Fifty-four ninety-nine. Really? That's just a holy. Yeah, it's only a bonnet frog. It's probably it. There we go. That one's heads on the right way. Those are pretty cool. All right, everybody. That's going to do it for the main toy section. Unless we find something else. Again, it's probably going to find a scanner and check that Ant-Man figure. Make sure it's not on clearance. And then we're going to find some uh, collectors. So, see you in a second. Let's see what we got in collectors. Got some big Miles Pops down there. Bunch of other Pops. See some Flash in there. But nothing really... 
Checking out Indiana Jones. Anybody seen the new Indiana Jones movies? I've not seen the best reviews for it online. I normally kind of like Indiana Jones back in the day. Not so sure now that he's a little bit more of a senior citizen, but. Demon Slayer stuff. Oh, yeah, we got some more up there. Can't really say this is all we got. They got to have some NECA. Not seeing anything there. Anything on these end caps? Uh, down here might be something. Uh, nope. There's some sodas. Let's go up here and check this end cap here and see what they got. Oh, they got a Too Faced that's been on clearance everywhere else for 10 bucks. So I wonder if it's clearance here. I'll see a scanner at the end of the aisle. We'll check that. And sadly, the, um, what I have, Ant-Man figure was not on clearance. He's still 25 bucks. We put him back on the peg. Do have any more Too Faces back in there? I see Batman Radioactive Cowl. There's those new Super 7 Turtles. Yeah, it's the bigger one. I like it when you got me. We're discussing the Jason head knocker there. You got that cool shredder back in there, the clone shredder NECA. That's pretty cool to see. And some predators back in there, alien. Oh, that's what she was asking. Kelly was asking me if I had this thing before I started filming. They had a nice version of the last drone figure. And Starlight from the boys. I haven't seen that in a day or two. Wingnut and the Skrillish, Neutrinos, those Turtle 2 packs. Don't see any of the Splinters or, you know, the Ultimate Foot Ninjas or anything. Actually, this is kind of a really small um, collector section compared to what I'm used to seeing in Target. Looks like I got some more stuff stuck somewhere. If I do, I don't see it, but I think that's about going to wrap us up, guys. If we do see anything else, we'll film it and show it to you. Actually, we're going to go walk up here and scan this Batman 66. And we're going to see if it's $9.99. Since the scanner is right up here, we'll just continue recording. Let's go up here and scan. Oh, it's one of these sophisticated ones. Ha, huh, got it. Nope, it's still 20 bucks. Not going to do that. Let's go put this back on the shelf. And if I find anything else, I'll film it. If not, see you at the next. All right, we are going to run in here to the Knoxville Walmart and hit one more location on our toy hunt before I go home and die on the couch because oh, the man and the spouse of tolerates is exhausted. But before we do that, let's go in Walmart, see what we can find. Looks like we're going to start right here because, man, look at all the... Well, they're not all future state and rebirth, but a good chunk of them. There's Batwoman Unmasked and Batwoman or Batman Beyond. I uh, got some Beast Boys hanging out here. Catwoman. Dark Detective. John Kent. What we got here? Rebirth. Future State. Future State. This is kind of like the withful Walmart. Tons and tons, but they're all Future State and Rebirth pretty much. There's a Flash. The bat suit, rebirth, future state, future state. There's some honey bags where we're standing here. No Batman returns. Let's see what we got down through here. Some flash stuff up there. Some legends. Kind of a mix. Some of the new and old. You got some Aquaman page punchers down there. We got our flash Batmobile and some more Aquaman page punchers. We've got a dark flash. We do have a blue and gold variant there of the armored Batman. A couple of future states. Uh, Beast Boy. Future states. We've got plenty of Beast Boy figures. And we got some down in here. So let's take a look here first. I got some of the Batman Beyond Wave here. That one's actually been cracked open. There is the colored version of Ra's al Ghul. That Solomon Grundy build a figure wave. King Shazam, King Shazam. Black is not Superman. Blight. Death Storm. Superman. Death Storm. Death Storm. Bunch of flashes and a flash Batmobile. Not even a Batmobile. 
my buddy, the wingsuit. Not seeing near the clearance down here that I've been seeing another Walmart's and Targets. There's some in Target, just not to everything was clearance that I have been seeing in other stores. Uh, we got Flash in the bat suit, Dark Flash, regular Flash, no Keaton. Unless this is him. Nope, Dark Flash. We're just gonna hang him up there. What do we got here in Star Wars? Speeder box of 45 bucks. And we shall be right back. Got some mega figs down there. Sabak and Adam Smasher. We'll check the rest of that owl out in a minute. We just suddenly were swarmed with people. <laughs> so we're going to give them time to clear out and we'll go back and check out what else they got. Got some X Men wave there and then Infinity Ultron. Uh, dinos. Dinos, Metroid. Here come our Ninja Turtles. Mikey and Leo are nineteen dollars each here. There, Genghis, Wingnut, Genghis, Genghis, Wingnut. Uh, there's Baxter. Baxter, Wingnut, Baxter. Another Genghis. Storage shells. Wingnut, Wingnut, Baxter. Man, I got Genghis. All over the place here. And then we got Transformers, but looks like about the usuals. That's they you got everywhere else. There's our Pokemon cards. Another Samus. I didn't see any Mario movie stuff here, not a lot of it. Oh, never mind. There's all kinds of Mario movie stuff. <laughs> looks like mostly Mario's. Oh yeah, tons of Mario figs. They got some Bowsers there. But let's see. I need something for the thumbnail, guys. I forgot to take hardly any pictures of the fanboy. So we'll have to use that for a thumbnail. <laughs> All right, everybody. I think that's going to do it. If we do see anything else in regular toy, oh, I haven't found Diecast yet. Where's Diecast? Have you seen Diecast? There's Lego. Here we go. Diecast calls. Bigfoot there. That's cool looking. Bear devil. Hmm, haven't seen that before. That is a cool looking monster truck. Gotta say. Fast and the Furious. That looks like Spyro. This is Batitude. Bigfoot. Uh, not seen any hundred year Warner Brothers just scanning up or nope let's see regular Hot Wheels I got a 89 Batmobile there with the funky paint job I haven't seen that little thing in a while actually I don't see any stuff like the oh here it is I got these split toy owls man that design just Messes with my old mind. <laughs> oh, we got our Mario Kart usual stuff there. Got some cars. Fast and Furious. Oh, I got a Batman Batmobile and an animated, another animated. That was on Clarence Target the other day for like two bucks. What do they got in these little sets? There's the Mustang. Here's the hooker I've been seeing everywhere. Or I shouldn't talk about the hooker I've been looking at and the wife standing here with me. I'm getting a look right now. Oh, that thing's pretty. A little Super B, Rumble B. That is nice. That's cool too. I don't think I've seen that in Ford Sedan, but I haven't paid any attention to it. Alright everybody, that is going to do it pretty much for the toy section. I want to try to look at that part I couldn't get to there a second ago. If I got anything, I'll film it. If not, we're going to check out collectors, and if I see anything there, I'll show it to you. Alrighty, we got some pops. There's one of the Avatar. Some Miles. Spouse who tolerates it disappeared. Okay, there she is. Multi-Sku items. I don't know what that means. There's KU. 
There's some more pops right there. Don't look like anything we haven't been seeing. It's kind of like the same ones I see in Greenville all the time. Some Q figs. There's four packs there. The Foot Soldiers. The Zelda four pack. Katara. There's a Mandalorian figure back there. What is that? Boba Fett. We got Night Wolf. Night Wolf. And Baraka. Green Arrow and Justice Dr. Faye get the black and white Batman and Roz. I don't see those all that often. And then we've got Supergirl. That's kind of cool to see. But everyone, I think that's probably going to wrap us up. That ghost face there, that's pretty cool. Huh? There's more over there? Oh, okay, never mind. Kelly found some more. Let's go check that out. See what we got. Got some pops here. Look, the Godfather. That's cool. I've never seen that before. Might put that in the... Actually, I see some more stuff down through there. Ooh, clearance up here. Farmhouse 2-pack, 40 bucks. Or 30 bucks, I mean. So that one's marked down. They're confusing us here. They ain't put it on one spot. $10 here for these little Q figs. What have we got? Kitty Pride. Ain't got Wolverine, do they? Nope. 20 bucks for the Spider-Man bust. I they might have had my little Batman bobblehead on clearance. This is kind of the stuff that's usually with it. We got one more section we're going to walk down and check. Oh, April, Ultimate April. Look at this. 15 bucks for this thing with the gangly knees. I remember at one point that was highly sought after a while back. $15 for a neck. That's a good price. But we're going to run down here and see what's going on. There's a little section. All right, we got some more stuff here. You got these little mystery ball packs here on clearance for five bucks. But hey, I, it's the Predator here. Oh, it's Airbender. Never mind. Thirty bucks. I thought my Predator might have been marked down, but he seems to not be. Thirty bucks. There, Predator. Okay, he is thirty dollars here. Still, when we found him on clearance. He was cheaper, and these boxes are all beat up. Now, one thing Kelly keeps looking at. She has looked at this for a long time. I always said it was too much. Now look there, 30 bucks or 15 bucks. Whether she gets there or not, I'm spoiler alert, I'm gonna buy her one of these spirals. <laughs> She's looked at it too much, everybody. There's no way she can't tell me she doesn't want it. But that is gonna wrap it up for our hunt today. So I'm gonna purchase her spiro and we're gonna head back home and then I'll do a wrap up and show you all the stuff I bought at the Fanboy Expo and, and the Spyro. Look at him, Spyro, look in his eyes. All right, see ya. All right, everybody, there you have it. Knoxville Fanboy Expo. Also went to a Target and a Walmart in Knoxville and checked it out while we were there. And I filmed what I could at the Expo, guys. If any of y'all been to that stuff, know there's a lot of people there, a lot of ways to get around. It's kind of hard to film. I tried to film the uh, vendor areas. I thought I had the coolest stuff, in my opinion, but there was a lot more there that I didn't get to film. But to be completely honest, the vendor section was a little disappointing, I thought, just for stuff that I like to collect. If you were into Funko Pops and the spouse of Tolerance is driving now, I'm not driving, so I'm being safe. She can verify there were Funko Pops everywhere. That seemed to be the most popular thing at that expo in the vendor area was Funko Pops and then some art prints and things like that. Oh, the comic books. I was surprised at how many comics. Uh, there were a lot of comic vendors there. But, you know, we do have some things to show that we picked up. The coolest thing we got today, I gotta say, I'll show it to you when we get home when I show the haul portion here. But. Uh, I, Kelly bought a little set of the Hobbits. It had Frodo, Bilbo, uh, Mary Pippin, and Sam in it. Because Sam, Mary, and Pippin, as you saw in the video, they were there. And she got them to sign the, that for her, but over top of their figure. So I think they told us the actor to play Bilbo had passed away. But we got to find Elijah Wood and get him to sign that thing and make that complete for her. But again, had a good time there. It was, it was cool seeing the celebrities. I mean, uh, I got to meet Kevin Nash. That was pretty cool. Got a picture with him and got an autographed picture from him. Uh, one of the coolest celebrities I saw there that I did not get a chance to speak to because he had went to do a signing or something uh, on a different area there was Adrian Paul from the old Highlander show. I love that show. I'm kind of sad I didn't get a chance to meet Adrian. Maybe I'll catch him next time. Um, as far as Walmart and Target, uh, we didn't see anything out of the ordinary there. We haven't already been seeing. Uh, Walmart didn't have a lot of stuff on clearance though. That one down here, uh, the others I've been seeing. Target was kind of about the same stuff, but. 
again, you saw the video there. I'm not going to ramble on here forever. Um, I didn't pick anything up at the retail store except for that Spyro, just to spoil that part for you. But I did pick up several items from the vendors area at the Fanboys. So I want to sign out for now because we're hitting some potholes. And next time you see me, I will be at my kitchen counter. All right, everyone, welcome back to my dining room table. Instead of my standing kitchen bar over there, I decided I wanted to sit down to do this. But we're going to take a look at what I picked up. Um, myself and the spouse who tolerates went to the Fanboy Expo in Knoxville, Tennessee. And then we hit a Walmart and Target down there as well. But uh, most of my pickups, except for one thing, came from the Expo. So let's take a look at what we got. Uh, the first vendor I went to and bought anything from, I got this awesome Earth 44 Batman from Multiverse. I've saw this guy several times. He's always pretty pricey. I found him, I think he was 30 bucks where I picked him up. I think they asked 35. I already took the price tag off, so I can't remember, but dude gave me five dollars off because you know I paid cash. This thing's pretty cool looking. I wanted to pick this up for a while, so we did pick this one up to add to our multiverse collection. Uh, I've been on a DC kick here the last year or so, so to continue with that, the rest of this, go ahead and warn you, it's gonna be DC stuff. And sorry, my cats are fighting in the background, so you have to overlook them. One of them just ran to the table. So this is this is this is YouTube people. This is how it happens. But <laughs> next thing I picked up, this old DC Universe version of the Sinestro Batman. Don't know what McFarlane's gonna look like, but that thing looks pretty good, I think. I hadn't seen this figure before. I think these are Mattel. Yep, Mattel. I found a guy there. This is his first time he'd been at a show. He was selling some of his personal collection. He had a good price. He actually, I think this was 20 bucks. I found this again in another table. I think they won like 60 for it, and it was in a lot more beat up shape. So that convinced me that I found a pretty good deal. There you can see the other figures that were available in that wave. He did have several of these old DC Universe figures, and I did buy a couple off of him, but the first one was the Sinestro Corpse Batman. The other one we got was a DC Universe, and this is an All-Stars Batman, the classics. I just liked the way this one looked and decided to pick it up and throw it in the collection as well. It'd been nice if it had been that $15.22. Now that's an odd price for a Kmart tag there back in the day. Makes me nostalgic. I don't think there's very many, maybe three or four Kmarts left. Love those stores when I was younger. Got a little bit of a mark down the back of the car, but it's not terrible. And you can see the rest of the figures. He did have the Superman of this wave. I didn't much care for how it looked. I think he had that Red Robin as well. I uh, didn't see the Superboy Prime, but he did have, I think, at least three figures out of this wave, two or three. And next, well, I bought the, both of these off of the same collector, but the first thing I got, I couldn't leave this on the shelf because, to me, this looks like an 89 Batman. The guy in the store said he didn't think that it was, but look at the spear gun. Look at the battering, the, the belt. I mean, that looks like an 89 or 92 Batman, or at least modeled after it. So, you know, I'm a sucker for Keaton stuff, so I can't... Can't leave it on the shelf. You also got a Joker in that wave and a Poison Ivy. I don't think he had those, I don't remember. But we did pick up the Batman. Uh, the last figure I picked up at the Expo was this Kingdom Come version of Superman. And I like the way this thing looks. Hey, this one had been open before, he said, but it's complete. You can see all the pieces are still in there. He said he hadn't opened it when he bought it. The tape here was broken. So he assumed at some point somebody had opened it. But you see here, we got Kingdom Come Superman. Love the Kingdom Come story. Actually, this a portrait of him is actually my profile picture on my Gmail account. So, <laughs> first time I'd seen a Kingdom Come figure. I know they made some others of it. But this is the first one I've seen and wanted to pick him up. And this is a build a figure for Lobo. And looking at his chest piece there, he's probably been a pretty good sized figure. But that is the Superman. And also at the expo, I got to meet. Kevin Nash. He autographed a picture for me as well as I got in another picture with him and I in there doing the little Wolfpack Too Sweet thing. You know, loved Kevin Nash when I was younger. I watched him in WWE as Diesel or WWF back then. And then when him and Hall jumped to WCW, I mean, that was just thrilling TV to see them showing up on a competitor and then what they did with the NWO. But it was cool to see Nash and to get a picture with him and meet him. Uh, from Walmart... You know, we picked up Spyro. We didn't pick up anything in the Target. Uh, Kelly's already opened Spyro here and been messing around with him. But, you know, she's been wanting us to look into the little Spyro thing for a while. So I picked that up for her. It was on clearance, 15 bucks. That Walmart, I probably already talked about it in the first part of the wrap-up. I can't remember. But that Walmart had a lot of good clearance in the collector section. And we've seen this thing forever, ranging from $29 to $35. So see it for 15 bucks. And many times that she's looked at it, you know, I couldn't leave him on the shelf. I had to get him for her. 
But as far as our most of our pickups, that is it. I do have one more thing I want to show that Kelly picked up. She got to meet the hobbits that were at this uh, Fanboy Expo, which is Sean Aston, Dominic, I can't remember his last name, and then Billy Boyd. Uh, it was Samwise, Gamgee, Merry, and Pippin from Lord of the Rings. But she did get a little Toy Biz figure set there and got it signed, and I will show you that next. Okay, and we are back from that brief hiatus because I forgot to bring this in here when the first thing, but... We picked this up off of a vendor there. As soon as we walked in the door, uh, we saw this on there. The guy only won like 50 bucks for it. I kind of thought these old Toy Biz Lord of the Rings would, uh, would be a little more pricey than that. I guess they're not all that valuable. I saw a lot of Lord of the Rings sets there from that Toy Biz line. That was uh, not all that expensive. They're pretty much all sealed. But as you can see, it's in pretty decent shape. And where she had the three Hobbit Seas there. You see there where Sean Aston signed it for her. And he put Sam under there. I like where Billy Boyd put on there, Be Mary. I thought that was pretty cool. Right, and that wasn't Billy Boyd, that was Dominic. I can't keep those guys' real names straight. But anyways, Mary signed up there, Be Mary. And I, okay, Billy Boyd was Pippin. I can see now by the signatures. She's more of the fan of this than I am, obviously, because I don't know the actors' names. But and I think that um, I didn't know the actor that played Bilbo had passed away. Uh, but that's what I think that um, Dominic was telling us. But, you know, we got to try to find Elijah Wood and get him to sign it for her. That way she'll have all the ones in this set autographed that she can possibly still get. But to me, this is the coolest thing we got. She come away with the coolest collectible and getting this and getting it signed. And she got to speak and talk to all these guys. So that was a fun experience. But as far as the pickups from everything, you've seen it now. The Hobbits here was number one as far as my favorite stuff. If I'm still ranking things, I'd probably put Kingdom Come Superman second. Um, the Sinestro Batman third. And then if I'm going to do, I guess, a 3A, I'm going to sprinkle in this thing because I've wanted it for so long and finally been able to pick it up. But that is all we got. If you're not following me on Instagram, be sure to follow me on Instagram. You should have seen it pop up around, you know, the hobbits here. And also, if you are first time viewer to this content or you came back many times and have yet to subscribe, be sure to subscribe to The Man Collects and see what's coming down the pipe on my YouTube channel. But everyone, until the next hunt, I hope everyone had a great weekend and I will see you next time.